Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Carlo here. Today we're going to do a special unboxing. I have the new colorways of the World Balance Invictus. So this is like the, I, well, I, I don't know, we call it like the affordable Yeezy for the Philippines. So this is their city pack, which consists of Tokyo, London, and Havana. So let's check them out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we do constant giveaways on the channel. Uh, we're actually going to announce a new giveaway tomorrow, so that's Sunday. So make sure that you guys watch the video that drops tomorrow evening. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, join our Facebook community. Good luck. This sneaker is part of the street casual collection of World Balance. Those who don't know, World Balance is a local brand based here in the Philippines. And they are famous for shipping and offering high quality low-priced sneakers. The designs are pretty good as well and this is their latest colorway for their massive, massively successful Invictus line. So if you pop the box open, this is their Havana sneaker. Now, as you guys can see, it bears a striking resemblance to the Yeezy 700 Wave Runner. So of course that is the OG Yeezy 700. You have the green color here along the edges. You have the pop of orange along the midsole and the midsole is actually very reminiscent as well of the Balenciaga triple S uh, but yeah if you are looking for uh, affordable hype sneakers that you can wear every day this one just sells for a little over 2,000 pesos making it a very affordable alternative now please take note that I have reviewed the Invictus before and I can tell you right now just like the previous one that they are ridiculously comfortable for the price that you are paying for them so if you are looking for you know chunky sneakers uh, that give you a hype <coughs> street look Without breaking the bank, uh, this is definitely one of the sneakers that you should, uh, you know, well, take a look at. So again, this is the first sneaker in the collection. This is the Havana, aka the Yeezy 700 <laughs> Wave Runner. Now, the next sneaker that we have in the collection is the Tokyo sneakers. You can see it says over here at the tag, Invictus. Tokyo size 13. I highly suggest that you guys go a half size up or maybe a full size up for the Invictus. That's what I did because they kind of run a little bit short. Now, if you pop the box open, ba bam, you have the tissue paper and here you have the shoe. Now, as you can probably tell just by looking at the sneaker, it bears a striking resemblance this time to the Thunder Spectra of Puma. Or to some people who are a bit more OG, they call it Puma. I still prefer to call it Puma. So I'll put a picture of the of the uh, Thunder Spectra somewhere here so you can compare. Now, the materials, just like the previous sneaker, you have a mix of suede here at the edge. You have mesh over here at the toe box. You have uh, leather at different parts of the sneaker to give it a little bit more personality. And then you have the padded tongue. You have the World Balance Bounce Pad, just like the previous sneaker. And you have the midsole and the outsole over here. So again, if you are looking for a sneaker with this particular colorway, then you might want to check it out. Uh, the, the obvious difference with uh, the Thunder Spectra is that hit of purple that you see here along the lateral and the medial side. Uh, again, they sell for a little over 2,000 pesos. And the last sneaker in the city pack, which also happens to be my favorite among the three, and if I were to recommend that you guys pick one up, this is the sneaker that I would highly, strongly recommend that you consider. This is the Invictus London. So as you can see, again, it says over there, size 13, Euro 46. Let me emphasize, you might want to go a size up. You have the tissue paper, and this is what the sneaker looks like. Ba-bam! Now, as you can see, the main colors are red, white, blue, and some sort of orange in the middle. So it's not just one shade of red, uh, and maybe that's the reason why I love it so much, just because it has orange. <laughs> but anyway, so it's the same deal. You have mesh, you have suede, you have leather, you have those uh, blue, red, white laces to give it a little bit more pop. You have that suede panel here at the back. You have the World Balance Bounce Pad, which gives it superior comfortability. And again, one of the highlights for me is really how they made the contrast pop with the orange leather strike here along the lateral and the middle side, contrasted with the white background of the shoe. Uh, and among the three, this is the one that has the more unique design. I really can't find another sneaker that bears, well, a similar color styling for the shoe. So among the set of the three, uh, if I were to pick one and I, if I were to recommend one, I would really suggest that you guys go for this one, followed by the, the Tokyo 
and then we have Havana for the last. That one just looks too much like the Easy 700 Wave Runner for my taste. So how about you guys? Which one of the three would you consider copying? Is it the Havana over here? Is it the Tokyo over here? Or is it the London? Let me know in the comment section. Would love to hear from you guys on which of the three sneakers is worth copying from this city pack from World Balance. Now, if I'm not mistaken, they're already available online, but they aren't yet available at their retail stores. That should happen third week February or second week February. But definitely exciting stuff. I'm super thrilled to see more and more high quality sneakers come out from World Balance. I was so happy with their uh, Star Wars collaboration. We did a review of that. I'll put the link down below. Uh, we saw the Imperial Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, as well as uh, the R2-D2. All of them look pretty sick and it's nice to see more colorways come out, especially with this particular city pack. So hoping for more unique color blocking with the uh, Invictus silhouette in the coming months ahead and maybe I'd love to see more streetwear inspired sneakers apart from the Invictus uh, from them as well. It's definitely an exciting time for local brands, local art, uh, local creatives and it will be interesting to see how this all pans out as the rest of 2020 rolls by. And that's it for our vlog for today. Uh, let me know which one of the three appeals to you the most in the comment section and as usual, peace, God bless, what's up, boom.